What's up everybody, PGA Professional George Ward from Roy Boy Golf, and I am here to answer the question that I keep getting, which is, what is the low zone? Now obviously I haven't done a good job in the other videos explaining it, uh, a lot of people recommended that I try and do little short videos today, I kind of want to take a little bit more time to explain the system. Uh, the first thing that the low zone, well let's start with what it isn't, it's not a magic fix, okay? Anytime you're talking about skill development, you're gonna have to put in some work. And I know there's lots of products out there that say, oh, shave five strokes or 10 strokes off your game or instantly make more putts or whatever. That's not this, okay? You're gonna have to put in some time. This is gonna help you while you're putting in that time, but you're still gonna have to put in your time on your training facility, whether it's at your local golf course, at your driving range, or even in your backyard, or whatever the case may be, you're gonna have to put in some time. So uh, one of the easiest ways for me to explain what the low zone is, is it's a 1.4 pound little package uh, you throw it in your golf bag and when you're ready to, to put in your work, it's there. Uh, it comes with a couple different components. Uh, in each system, you're going to get two of these speed straps here that essentially are five separate linear targets. Uh, and then you're gonna get five different putting pucks that come in assorted sizes. You're going to get a large five and a half inch lack puck. You are going to get two regulation size pucks that simulate the golf hole. And then you are going to get two of these tiny little pro puck guys here that, uh, that are for your, you know, really fine tuning your skills. Uh, and you're also going to get a little pamphlet uh, that's gonna explain a couple of the basic configurations and how to use them. Now, I want you to kind of think about these components as kind of like a box of Legos. Um, you can basically take the building blocks and come up with whatever type of configuration that suits your needs at the time. Uh, it's not a one size fits all. I mean, everybody's got different things they need to be working on. And you're gonna be able to set up a different type of grid configuration on your practice facility or range or whatever to suit the skill set that you're working on. So uh, the way that I kind of like to explain it is, is think of if if you ever played Tiger Woods video games and you get to the putting portion of the video game, there used to be a large green gra uh, grid graphic on the green that would kind of help explain distances and speed control and directional control. That's kind of how this works, but in your practice regimen. So whether you're putting, uh, chipping, pitching, working on bunker shots, maybe some intermediate wedge play, or even working on some full swing shot shaping skills, there's a configuration that'll help you do that. The other thing is, is that each of the zones on these speed straps are independently adjustable. So when you set up your grid and you start to get better, you can actually shrink the size of these zones which creates smaller portions of your grid. And it enables you to actually continue to fine tune your game as you get better. Uh, the idea being is as we get better, we want to continue to up the ante and create a more challenging um, challenge while you're out there on the green. So um, check this thing out. Get on RoyBoyGolf.com. Um, I'm going to start putting up some videos. We're getting slow. Our season down here in Florida is coming to an end as the heat gets uh, gets amped up. Uh, so I'm going to be putting out a lot more video content. Uh, we're going to be going through different routines, uh, different games, different drills that you can do uh, to suit those different skill sets. And I'm also going to uh, break out uh, my ground level golf program. Uh, and in particular, we're gonna get into the pyramid of critical concepts. So uh, the first step to getting better is actually understanding the cause and effect relationships and impact. Uh, so that as you begin to diagnose what's going on with your game properly, you can make the right adjustments and actually, again, increase your skill level. So keep an eye out, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Roy Boy Golf. Uh, also follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, we're at Low Zone Golf or Roy Boy Golf. Uh, and, you know, actually uh, sign up for our newsletter list too, because we're probably going to do a sale on, uh, on these guys. Oh, by the way, Low Zone, the full kit, uh, retails at $109.99. It's on our site for $99.99. And if you don't want the full kit, you just want something that you can warm up with, you can actually get our straps a la carte. Uh, Retail is $39.99. They're on our site for $34.99. So pick these things up. Um, they are also built tough. So as long as you're using it for what's designed to be used for, it's pretty much going to last you a lifetime. Uh, also made in the USA. So America. Thanks.